The holidays are coming, and chances are you've made your list and checked it twice with everything you need to do, and that includes shopping. For gifts, decorations, food, it can all add up pretty fast, and if you're not careful, you'll quickly go over your budget. Here to help us keep our holiday spending in check is financial advisor Rob Wilson of Wilson Insight and regular Money Monday contributor. This is something I think a lot of us are guilty of, especially the closer we get to the holidays. It's, oh, I forgot about this person. I need to get this person something. Oh, family's coming over for dinner, and you could quickly go over. You can, and then just think about the type of environment we're in. Look, unemployment is historically low. Consumer confidence is historically high. There's more money in people's pockets, and so people are understandably in some pretty good holiday cheer, and I think they're really ready to go out and hit the mall and uh, expend uh, some of that cheer on some gifts. Well, so you say to develop some discipline. This is the absolute first thing you have to do. Whether times are good or economic times are bad, you really have to have a discipline. You can't go into this thing without a plan because if you do that, it can it can quickly go overboard pretty fast. Uh, so I think the first thing you want to do is you got to set a budget. How much money do you really want to spend during the holidays? Set the number before you get all emotional about you know who you owe a gift and who you don't. Do this you know sometime early on in the year. If you haven't did, done it. Go ahead and do it now, but you have to set a budget. You had to go into this thing with a plan. And you can you say save all year. You can spend you can save twenty bucks a week, put it aside, and create a separate account for yeah, it. Yeah, this is the time of year when people go, hey, you know what? Um, I think Christmas is coming up. <laughs> right. But as far as I understand, it, it tends to happen every around year. the same time, every, uh, around the same time every year, right? <laughs> so what you should be doing is saving money the the entire year, so it's not sort of a shock on your finances when the holiday uh, season comes around. So the the studies say that Americans have spent about a thousand dollars on average you know during the holiday season that's roughly eighty dollars a month and twenty dollars a week so if you just took a twenty dollar bill out of your pocket set it aside forget about it you'll have a nice fund come Christmas time and then you won't disrupt your other finances and I, I love this tip because it makes so much sense you say never use credit especially if you find a good deal you're really not no, getting so, it so so uh, okay I'll, so I'll give a little bit of caveat if you have a credit card where you get points or miles or those sorts of things go ahead and and as long as you can stay disciplined, go ahead and buy your, your gifts on your credit card so you can get the points and miles and so forth. But if you're going to buy it on your credit card and run up a balance and pay it off over time, then especially if you've gone out to get a deal, you've eliminated the money that you saved on a deal with all of the interest you're going to be paying on the credit card. So use it for points, but pay that bill off right away. Okay, and I love this too. Generate some extra cash, and you're always giving us some good suggestions. But this is a good time, especially if you know you're going to be getting some new things in the house around this time. Go through your old stuff. Sure. If you got a bunch of gift cards last year that you haven't used and they're just sitting in a drawer somewhere, why not take those out and maybe either use those gift cards to go buy gifts or there are a bunch of websites where you can turn those gift cards into cash and then use them for gifts somewhere else. So if you're not going to use them, look, they've been sitting there all year anyway. Go ahead and use them so that you don't have to necessarily go into your bank account to go get gifts this year. And another thing that you can do is go through your closet and your garage and it's time to just sell all of that junk, okay? You don't need anymore that there's sweatshirts and blouses and all these things that you haven't worn go ahead and get on eBay or Amazon Etsy uh, garage sale whatever you need to do go ahead and sell that stuff that you're not going to use right. put some money in your pocket use it for your gifts this year and some of the things that you can't sell donate to Goodwill or another charity because you can get the tax benefit. yeah go ahead and donate so that's not going to put money in your pocket immediately but the more you donate the more you're going to be you're able to write off at tax time and so you'll be happy come uh, April so I'm going to need you to have this conversation but you say set expectations <laughs> Expectations, especially with your kids. Okay, so you have to start to set expectation with your kids that they don't need every single thing that comes on the commercials right. while they're watching their toys and so on and so forth. Give them this is a really good time to talk about needs versus wants and so on and so forth. And look, there'll be some things that they just want and they want to have fun and that's fine, but it's a great time to teach them about what money really means and that you can't necessarily get everything all the time. You can also have these same kinds of conversation too with your family, especially if you have a big family. Sure, your, your finances can get into a wreck if you have a big family and you feel like you need to buy uh, gifts for every single person. So again, have some conversations and then maybe you do one of these sort of gift exchanges where you just have to get a secret Santa gift for one of your family members so that way everybody can come together everyone has some something to open but you don't have to just wreck your entire finances by getting something for your big family and those can be a lot of fun too you can make fun with that so thank you so much Rob for joining us Thanks today Rob Wilson of Wilson Insight and regular money Monday contributor here on PTL thanks as always